Welcome back guys, I'm the Hijabi VFX girl and this week I'm breaking down these two shots from the Selena Gomez music video that came out last week. So let's just jump straight into it. For this I'm going to use After Effects. Create a new comp and drag and drop your footage in. As this is royalty free footage, this is the closest I could get to the actual video. But if I was actually shooting this, I would have had the person on green screen because I've had to mask him out individually, his head, his hat and his body. And it's taken all day. It's just something to note when you start to do it. The first thing I did was track the table as, as this information is needed to place the final footage on. So I could have tracked in the single point tracker built into After Effects, but no, I'm going to use Mocha because it's so much more superior, which is actually built in for free in After Effects. Go to animation at the top and click on track in Boris FX Mocha. In the effects control window, it'll load the Mocha effect. Click on the Mocha logo button, which will actually load the program. When it opens, you might get this view or the essential view. Now, either view is fine, but I prefer the classic. So I'm going to change back to the classic. All you need to do for this is grab the pen tool and draw around the item you need to track. Now I started to draw the table and I realized I don't need the base of the table, just the top. So I went back and redid the mask for the top. Make sure you're at the front of the timeline. Then press this button here to track the table. And it's as simple as that. Once you have that, press save and close mocker. It'll bring you back to this window and I'll have the track information there. Before we do anything, I want the track information to go into the null object. So right click in the comp, click on new and then new null object. Click on the video layer and go back to the effects control window. This now has all the track information from mocker. Click on create track data, which will bring all the track information across. Then at the bottom, you can tell what data you want and which layer you want to export it to. As I wanted the null layer, I'm going to select the null layer and hit apply export. Bro, all the track information is now in the null object. Now, the next thing to do is the worst bit. As I said earlier, it's not in green screen, so I'm having to mask the body out above the table. As there's not much movement, I can get the mask to track the body. So I don't have to do much here. Just right click, click on track mask and press the button and it'll track it for you. The face and the hat, however, did not work that way. So I had to go in manually and track it roughly every one second on the frame to make sure it matches it. The final thing to do is just put a slight feather on it so it's not such a harsh, sharp mask. I did five, play around with your footage. Bro, once you have that, you can see I now have a complete cutout of the person with a bit of the background. Don't worry too much, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is where now we can bring the clouds in and the gradient effect on top. With your cloud footage, place it behind the cutout of the person, then put your gradient on the top. I'm just going to line it so it all ends at his legs, roughly where they meet the table. Then. All you need to do is click on the gradient layer and change the mode from normal to overlay. That'll blend the two layers together perfectly. Now we just need to pre-comp the clouds, the gradient and the cutout of the guy. Highlight all these layers, right click, pre-comp. Perfect. Now I just need to move him above the table. So first thing I'm going to do is click on this cube to turn it on in 3D space and then just position him perfectly above the table. Now, this is the point where I realize how is that gonna work? Cause I'm gonna have to put a mask on. So what I did was I moved the bottom layer above this composition, went back into the effects control panel and clicked on the mocker settings. As you've already have a track and outline of this, with a built-in mat, it'll show you which parts it'll keep. White it'll keep and anything black it'll get rid of. You just need to hit apply mask and I need to invert mine and it's done. The mask is already there, all tracked and ready to go. Within this, you can also feather the mask here. I'm going to change it to around 20, where you'll also get this glow coming off the table. Shape and position the pre-comp onto the table and click on the pick wicket tool. I don't know how hard that is to say and drag and drop it onto the null object so it tracks the table. And that's it, you're done.
To give this the extra touch, bring back some details, such as the plate and spoon on his table. That just consists of placing the layer at the top and masking around and keyframing the mask. This just builds in more of a fact that it is a table and the video is actually based as a top layer. On to the fire on the stove. Now this is actually a couple of seconds. So we already have the track information ready to go. All you do is download some royalty free fire footage. It has to either be green screen back down or black in the background to get rid of the background completely. Then drag and drop it above and change the blend mode to add. Place the tracking information into that layer and that's it. That's how simple it is. I hope you enjoyed this week's video guys. Please let me know what music video you'd like me to do next week. Share this with friends and let them see how simple VFX actually is, which is what I'm really trying to break down. I've been the hijabi VFX girl. Hit the subscribe button and as always, stay inspired.